Hello and welcome to the fourth episode of My Good School Dil Se. And in this show we have one of the most renowned legacy schools of Delhi, particularly East Delhi, serving the interest of children and their parents for over 30 years in this part of the country. Just imagine 30 years ago those who are familiar with Delhi would know that East Delhi was a place where nobody would like to come and parents would not like to settle down in this part because it was not developed to the extent that it is today and it was during that time that there was a visionary uh, who thought that if a wonderful school is brought here that will become the glue and a center of attraction for the parents to come and settle down and therefore just imagine uh, how important role and school can play uh, an education a good education can play uh, in uh, stabilizing the families and fulfilling their aspirations and of course in developing a whole locality or should i say one fourth of this mega city we call delhi and therefore i welcome all the stakeholders and before going to anybody else i think the chairperson of this school mr vikas aluwalia will be the right person to set the tone for this particular discussion as to what he thinks about the 30 plus years of journey of this school when his father mr vikram ji taluwalia conceived and visualized a school where high quality of education could be given to the students those who were coming to east delhi so vikas ji over to you could you reflect on this journey of 30 years and how do you propose to take it forward the 30 years i would say have been one of the most beautiful years of us the school was started by a vision by my father mr bikram ji taluwalia 30 years ago almost and i think it is the most beautiful thing we've ever done i don't think anything could be more fulfilling than the school and the schools together and how now after 30 years when we hear success stories of uh, the students of the school shining in different areas of life and as people especially that is more important it i think it is the most uh, beautiful thing that has ever happened and i don't think anything can be more fulfilling than actually uh, being part of something to impart knowledge of course but more importantly uh contributing to the society by developing personalities which are strong and i don't want to say everybody is a leader but everybody is a good person and that is what is the essence of the schools and the vision is to make the society better absolutely what you have said is profound and your background and the family's background is building infrastructure for the country and for a very long time education has not been considered as infrastructure but i think you and your family has proved that how important education as an infrastructure is i will now move to the principal of the school dr deepak you have joined almost 3 years ago with your very rich background in international schooling in residential schooling and now you come to a legacy school 30 years or day school and therefore i am sure you have had some experiences you would like to share so what was your first impression it has indeed been a great journey for me coming from a background of working with international residential schools i have had the opportunity to work with students and staff from diverse cultural backgrounds and learned the importance of uh, social emotional and spiritual well-being of students through pastoral care uh, this experience came in handy while working with aps during the pandemic in particular and it has certainly helped me to connect with staff students and the parents community as well mm-hmm. so this this transition from a, a residential to a day school has been smooth for me due to two basic reasons the first is the systems and the procedures being in place of this legacy school and secondly the management has been very supportive 
freedom is given to work independently so this trust allows us to work innovatively and uh, during my initial interaction with faculty members one thing that was echoed by almost everyone is that alcon is more of a second home than a institution and i was curious to find the reasons for this statement and soon realized the school's philosophy and it is believed that happy teacher will create a happy environment for the students the society and the world at large mm-hmm. uh, as far as the teachers are concerned aps has well qualified committed and experienced faculty members who live up to the school's motto like to enlighten okay. they have a long association with the organization in fact anyone who joins elcon retires from elcon so that is the kind of emotional connection the staff members share with the school coming to you, i mean what impresses me the most about elcon so firstly as i mentioned whoever joins elcon retires from elcon so this speaks volume about the pro staff school policies uh, secondly the perfect blend of academics and co-curricular activities which enable our students to do exceptionally well uh, the value based education keeps our students grounded and connects them with their roots Absolutely. and at the same time the rich experience of organizing and participating in various international and national level events and activities provide them wings to fly high Absolutely. Thank you, Dr. Deepak. I think yeah. two or three things I picked up are a supportive, uh, enabling management, autonomy to function, trust levels, the well-being of all at the center of the entire functioning, and the teachers connect with the organization. When everybody finds that institution comes first, then I think that helps in building uh, uh, an institution. of the kind that you are heading thank you very much i think um, uh, mili i'll come to you you have been in the school for many years you just heard dr deepak lauding the value proposition that uh, is brought by the teachers uh, so i think for you it is very opportune time to tell some of the value systems that the teachers have imbibed over the years and and why if i ask you alcon public school is the place Uh, for those who want to build a career in education thank you thank you sir uh, indeed i do agree completely with what sir has just said and uh, i'll have perhaps uh, begin with narrating an experience as a language teacher i was given the uh, responsibility of uh, shouldering the school annual day barely two days prior a mistake caught my eye i was uh, shattered uh after spending a sleepless uh, diasporic night next morning i gathered courage to face my hm and uh, somehow just spilled it to my utter surprise very pleasantly and calmly she responded rectify it mm. i stood there still uh, anticipating something more uh, then she added uh, make mistakes it allows you to grow one response that empowered me as a teacher so Absolutely. this is the intrinsic value system in alcon family that makes it a place to be a uh, recognition here it replaces retribution a uh, gratitude here will precede criticism and it is that integrity that binds us all a uh, second reason that makes uh, alcon an excellent place to be uh, is that we the teacher community we have uh, we contribute to the uh, school policies and strategies to and to a considerable uh, extent they are uh, there aren't any uh, commandments or uh, dictums we are all seekers seeking uh, multifarious uh, ways to enhance and uh, enrich lives and to provide a very conducive learning atmosphere for one and all seeking how to be appropriate in the given situation uh, be it adapting to the technological upsurge uh, 
you know incorporating the educational uh, transformations dealing with behavioral uh, challenges resource management meet the dynamic of this complex modern uh, society the only way possible to be appropriate is here driven by an embedded integrity and uh, uh, infallible value system and when it is ingrained sir we practice this unknowingly and when we are uh, practicing it we don't have to preach it separately to our students that is yes. how values are being uh, absorbed by our students and thus in our system so yes. uh, we personally believe uh, that education is not a way to earn a living but rather a way of life absolutely absolutely no dictums no commandments seek seek and seek i think that should be the byline of this school in addition to all that you have and uh, i'm very impressed and touched by the fact that uh, you know as a teacher you have this value in you that uh, no retribution gratitude should precede uh, uh, any serious discussion and and the last thing that you are saying uh, which is very important uh, for any campus is uh, that uh, you don't have to preach anything you only have to live by that the young children imbibe it by seeing elders living those values that's very very important thank you very much uh, for bringing out that uh, very significant point uh, in your campus life i will now move over to another very important stakeholder and that is a parent and uh, i will uh, turn to mrs gupta now mrs gupta uh, you are a parent for many years i also understand that many members of your extended family have been students of this school another important thing about you is that uh, uh, your son uh, before coming to the school was studying in an international school abroad and therefore when you came back to india you were looking for a school where very special and unique aspirations you may have had and therefore i am very curious to know uh, how those aspirations were bridged or fulfilled at alcon public school and and what has been your experience all these years Mrs. Gupta, thank you, Panna sir. I think just like uh, you don't experiment with a doctor, right? You you go with the one who is the most trusted, most recommended, or the most famous doctor. Uh, in my opinion, the same holds true for a school. Mm-hmm. Uh, two alumni of Alcon in my family who are very well placed in their professional careers by God's grace and by the strong foundation that the school has given to them. I didn't have any reason to go to any other school but Alcon for my son. I think it was a very simple very very straightforward decision when we moved back to India we didn't apply in any other school we simply uh, you know went to Alcon we had a meeting with the principal my son was assessed and he was taken in the mid year in the school mid session in the school so it was a very uh, you know simple decision for us uh, what uh, you know what holds true for Alcon is uh, in spite after so many years i think the value system still has remained the same In fact my husband and my brother in law who have been the alumni of their school they were surprised to see that you know the basic things the basic values of the school haven't changed over all these years so the usp of the school what i think is the right amalgamation of the traditional yeah. conventional values and the modern outlook so there okay. is a right mix that the children get of the academics which is you know a, a very important thing at least in the indian setup that we have right so there is a right mix of the academics and the you know extracurricular activities because of which the children get an all round development so their whole personality is uh, you know uh, developed okay. and uh, when i see my child getting groomed into uh, a smart and a responsible boy a responsible citizen who is ready to take on the life's challenges i really feel happy and proud as a mother so that is all what a parent expects from a school and all my expectations are getting met so that's why i say it's a good school dil se Good school, they'll say. Huh? Congratulations, uh, Mrs. Arthi, and uh, uh, it, it gives uh, confidence to a whole lot of parents or uh, prospective parents. You know, uh, I think every parent, they'll say, as you say, is looking for uh, children to grow and flourish in life, but not without uh, the profound values that we all come from. So, if any school can bring about a balance between the two, I think that a school is a winner. So so to that extent I think what you are saying uh, holds a lot of value. So thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, and now I think I'll move to uh one of the most 
a brilliant students of this school. Uh, Deepanshu, you have been here for many, many years. And I think you have reached the position of the president of the student council. So you will have some extra experience to share. But just briefly tell me about your journey and, and, and what makes you, you know, uh, that mojo moment or aha moments in your life, which Alcon has given to you. Deepanshu. Thank you, sir. First of all, it's um, all my pleasure to be a part of this panel. Um, as you've asked about my journey, so my notion of being in a journey is a bit different. For me, it's not about reaching somewhere or touching the destination. It is about the process that I'm living through. And that's exact. That's the exact foundation I got and I received for my journey in Alcon. Because if I look down the years, for myself, what I see is transformation. For school, what I see is transformation. From knowledge to leadership, Alcon has been instrumental in helping me develop the required traits. Okay. I remember when I stepped on Alcon stage for the first time to recite a poem, and mm -hmm. that was I am a little red car. That stage performance has actually accelerated my stage rides from that time. And eventually I was found more on stage than in classrooms. Okay. So there is an apparent difference in giving the traits and developing the traits. It might sound hard, but in Alcon, we don't spoon food. we don't spoon feed. You don't get it on your plate. You need to accommodate yourself in the natural environment and you need to find yourself the correct trait that you want to develop. And you develop it on your own with a lot of personal touches. And that is the reason why every Alconite is different. Nobody is same. You're not producing children who are intelligent and in the same category, people are different. People are, some people are intelligent. Some people are good in sports. Some people are good in cultural activities. So a whole lot of holistic approach is there to support the students from all the way. Aha moment for me is that um, when I was in school, I'm right now in school, but from, from class six or seven, I adapted to this notion that we are not for school. School is for us. And now that I am graduating this session, I, I I'm, I'm proud to say that and I'm compelled to say that, that school is not from us. What I am and what we all are is from school. So that moment is uh, for me is a very aha moment that, th that just changed my perspective for my school and for myself. Thank you. Thank you, Dipanshu. I think that is very, very overwhelming. I think the entire uh, Alcon staff and principal and everybody should be very, very proud of you and also of themselves and the kind of work that they are doing. Thank you very much. And Tanya, now I come to you and you have been listening to everybody. But I thought that let me put you through a rapid fire just to give a little bit of a change of pace. Are you ready, Tanya? Oh, yes, sir, definitely. So one sentence about your days in APS. So I would say carefree. Uh, as now I am an alumni, I always think that I could go back to the time and live that time again. I can spend some time at the reception and maybe wandering around the staff room. Okay. <laughs> one sentence is over into many sentences. <laughs> Anya, one experience you would never forget. Uh, so the day when I was given the badge of head girl of my batch. And last question to you. Among your new peer group in the college, how would you argue APS is the best? So, first thing, uh, if we discuss about our school, people generally discuss about education, how modern uh, the school is. But I will say one thing about my school premise that our school premise is safe, accommodating, innovative and modern. Especially uh, when I uh, we were just uh, graduating a high school, Atal Tinker Labs were inaugurated. And I had not heard about uh, that it has been inaugurated in any other schools, modern science labs, we have the web designing lab and no other skills are being provided in any other school I have heard of. So there are endless points that I can argue about my school to prove that my school is the best. Wonderful. Thank you very much, Tanya. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is almost the end of this show about Alcon Public School. 
and i think it has been a, a, a great journey talking to the stakeholders of this particular school where a supportive management a committed teachers and and a very profound leadership and students uh, and teachers connecting with each other and modernizing with the value inculcation if that becomes uh, the motto of a school i think that a school will only produce uh, the future bright leaders for the country and the world thank you <laughs>